Hey everyone, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis and All-Star Qualifying is over and teams will be announced soon but some people are going to miss out because Ebony is playing God. Let's look at this. I've never heard of this before but the screenshots check out, the customer services messages check out and this is something that like the community should rise up and be like, this is not fair. So we all know that after a battle... Points are adjusted, but it's players' points, I thought. So, for example, if my team won 300,000 and the other team had 200,000, we win, but all our reinforcement building points go away. So maybe we end up with, like, 240,000 and the enemy ends up with, like, 180,000. We win. Well, look at this. So this team, Reality of War... 261,000, their enemy had 241,000, the battle's over. You can look at the top five minutes remaining. Let's try and zoom in there. They hold on. They said that because they had the victory, they did the calculation, they were going to get 100,000% of their, 100 of their points, and rather than the 60% if you lose. Fast forward to the next day. And the battle score has changed. 262 to 263, they get a loss right at the end. <laughs> they, and so look, two, so they went up to 262, and the other team went up to 263, and I'm just gonna say, so 262 from 261, they probably got a couple more building points. But what Ev Ebony has told them, and I'm going to show you the customer service messages, is that they reserve the right to change the score after the battle because reinforcement points are deducted. So the enemy team, in this case, VNG, y -N -Z -Y, YNG on 1221, no fault to them. They didn't do anything wrong. Ebony changed the scores and altered because of reinforcement points. So let's look at uh, what we got here. Hi, Liege. We sincerely apologize for any frustration or inconvenience you've experienced. But at the end of the battlefield, the server will calculate the building occupation score. The result will be different from the result displayed on the settlement interface. Please refer to the battle log <laughs> for details. What? I understand your concerns regarding the ranking and scoring in the current round. Please remember that your personal scores will only count when your alliance ranks in the top 500. It would be helpful if you could confirm your alliance's round ranking and check the scores again. If you have a screenshot, <laughs> okay. The scores displayed in the game need to be calculated by the system before they can be displayed on the ranking page. So there will be a delay. Regarding the situation you encountered, if the enemy gap within the enemy is not big, it's recommended that you keep occupying Constantinople, the Knights Hall, and other buildings. If no player loses a lot of points, you can always stay ahead. Thanks, Tips. Um, wow. So I knew that the points got adjusted after, but I didn't know the victor could be changed. That is ridiculous. Like, completely ridiculous. This should not be allowed to happen. The team should still get the W, even if the points... I even understand, after in the standings, the other team gets more points than the other team, but then they get the 60% reduction. That's really what's going on here. The team needs the victory to get the 100%. The whole point of the two-hour battle is you see a scoreboard. I have said this over and over many times. We need to know the rules. Like, you don't see professional sports going out and playing, and they don't know the rules. Like, hey, I, I didn't know I could get away with that. No, we made up a new rule today. Penalty. Or, like, what about other games? Like, e-games, which Ebony basically seems to desire to be. E-games, like, people know how to play. People know the rules. Like, okay. Anyways, I've said enough. I want to know, have any of you ever encountered this before where your actual win-loss was affected? Let me know in the comments. Like, 
subscribe, and write customer service and tell them this is some BS.